Bye, everybody. Okay. So, the Incinerator, I believe, introduces the most heinous of all enemies. What do you mean? I think this is where we meet the Beatles. The Beatles? Yes, it is. Sounds creepy. I don't like it. It's either in this it's either in this level or the next stage. But they are like dicks. Kind of like, like D-I-X. From here I should be able to get back to the hideout. Bugs, bug me. Alright. So first thing. Our spawn point is actually a secret passage. <laughs> hey, Broly. So how, how do you like that? Our spawn point is a secret passage to a token. They pulled the the treasure is behind where you start trick. Almost all games pull that though. All right, so there's a couple of ways we can go here. Uh, naturally, the way they start you on is the worst of all possible choices. So what you can do is you can go here. Um, there's bad guys patrolling all over the place. And all these guys have a lot of verticality. They can totally see you up here. So we actually want to take the alternate path. You have to get into the incinerator, too, to get your relic at some point. Yeah, so... It's on... You, so, from a bridge that has planks across it and a barrel, we can see... It looks like a conveyor belt or something, and it's in there. So, once you find the bridge, we can look over and see it. Now, before we open that door. Let's make sure there's no shenanigans down this way. Get a stunt, Rakash, to go and get the relic. Unfortunately, only sticks can do that. Can you be seen in this level, or are you still, if you're seen, you're screwed? I can be seen, but I don't want to be for as long as possible. No, I know. I just wanted to know whether it's one of those levels where you're seeing you're just instantly or not. Yeah, so if you look there, there's a token. And there's also, like, a big speech going on. So what we want to do is find a way to get them to move or die. Because the token is right there. Is there a way to fuck, up, fuck them up with Amber or anything like there was in the previous mission? Here ye, you bunch of ruffians. By order of the boss, well, if I there's use a new rule them, that you better respect. From now on, you have to talk nice to the root suckers. No name calling, no friendly little slap behind the head. Boss. Even if they deserve it, you're gonna have to watch your step. Otherwise, it's a court martial, and all that goes with it. For those in the I quarters, there will be less potatoes for dinner, but for us, it will be jail for sure. So get that into your skulls. <laughs> also, yeah, they dispersed after I used her up. I can't help but notice the incredible number of crossbows that are strapped to the wall. Right. Alright, so ideally, the orator, who is just speaking, will make his way up here. Saying the order who is just speaking, isn't that kind of redundant? Well, it's a buffer against people who don't know what order means. Is that terminology so old it needs that yet? Could be. Are, are, you, are you coming all the way up or what? I got people to kill and places to be. Do you really want him to come all the way? Gets all over the place. 
This guy might need a knife to the face, because that co-worker saw me. Damn it, Sticks! Jesus! How many right. knives to the wall, though? <laughs> you took that right in the base of the skull. You get fucked, mate. Yeah, I wish I could retrieve it. It's right there. I guess he was. I guess he was quite the numbskull. Indeed. So I'm keeping this door locked for now. Well, I guess I could unlock it because I didn't see anyone patrolling. I'd just leave it locked anyways. Well, if no one's patrolling, then there's no other way up here, I'm pretty sure. Rarely unlocked a precious thing. And I think this is a drop down to a token, but we need to take care of the guys down there first. Alright, let me rephrase. Bradley unlock the precious belt. Okay, so we got the knight with throwing knife on him, patrolling worker, guy hammering the gate, and one other guy in there who will see us if we drop down that hole too early. I hate it when I drop down the hole too early. It's like a fucking water slide minus the water. Or nothing but the water. I mean, okay, I think too early. Yeah, there's another patrol guy. It's so hard to get a window of opportunity. Fucking hunting. First thing we'll do is go for that token, and then we can have a better laid land at ground level. Should be concealed now that that torch is out. It's, it's that guy patrolling that's the big problem. Because he patrols so quickly. Sure, it's just that one guy's the problem. I think they're all problems at this point, my friend. Yeah, but that guy over there is short sighted. Short to eliminate, let's make a manage over here, the guy patrolling in the side room now, and then the knight, and then this patrolling guy, and we'll probably just have to loud kill the hammering guy. token down here, but I guess there's not. Maybe if you go up, there's a token.
survival of California's bills. Kind of a bad cycle. You've been in a bad cycle most of this game, huh? No, like, I could have killed him on the last cycle because the other guy was at the farthest point, but this time they're really close together. Fair point, I suppose. And I know that in the next room with an earshot, there's at least an archer. Okay, this is going to be a good cycle. They're slightly desynced because the night stretches before the wall. Oh, little too early. You got wrecked. Yep. I was rushing. 11.32. Yeah, I just got the stream back up. It's a relatively short stage compared to the library. It, it, it's just about getting from one end to the other, not so much the puzzling. I do need to start it from the beginning, though. Hear ye, you bunch of ruffians. Time By order of the boss, there is a new rule that you better respect. From now on, you have to talk nice knife, to the root I suckers. No name calling, no friendly little slap behind the head, even if they deserve it, you're gonna have to watch your step. Otherwise, it's a court martial, and all that goes with it. For those in the I quarters, there will be less potatoes for dinner, but for us, it will be jail for sure. So get so that into your skulls. Order. But I'm just gonna not do the corner throw, so I have an extra knife. Hopefully. Well, it just like failed so miserably. I do need to wait for him to come this way and then turn around though. I could almost leave the body here, but just in case, I'll at least throw it around the corner. Okay, now I need to get the jump on Chubbs. Actually, be real good. Well, I must have been dreaming. I must have been mistaken. I need to move away from the torch so I can put it out, though. I need this guy to piss off. Yeah, adjust your wrist. He really needs it.
I think I have to wait a cycle on this guy. Because I need him to start turning when the guy in the side hallway just goes back in. Or the guy in the side hallway. <laughs> just push him out the level. Luckily, side hallway guy is deaf. As you can see, these guys are a lot less alert than the library. Yeah, they just, they don't give a fuck. Much. I think I'm just going to knife the knight. As you can see, there's another level here, too, down below. And there almost always is. Whoever developed this game seems to really like, like, multi-level structural design. There's also uh, a path up here, which can help you sneak through the room, but every time I've ever used it, I've been spotted. You need to sneak through the room? Much. Is there a path up here? Or only down? Looks like it's only down. Okay, so that's not important right now. Quickly jump around over here. Doesn't go anywhere. So we have to let's proceed downwards. I like how this guy basically just sat down. He like pissed blood and sat down. Token and a knife. And a chandelier. Oh my god, what a horrible accident. I'm puking in the fruit, just as a matter of course. I like how he died and went under the table for me. You're trying to force people under the table, bro. That's pretty sick. This guy might just go eat the fruit without noticing the body, since it's half under the table. He just ate the fruit without seeing the body. Uh, why is it always the guy with the amber that eats the fruit? Oh, he's gonna fall off the edge, isn't he? Oh no, he's got the strongest ankles ever.
greatest angles ever. Strongest angles ever. Did you see the angles in that guy? He has angles like Jaeger. Instant rig rigor mortis. There's the beetles down there. So, their deal is they're blind. You can only loud kill them with a melee attack, and only if they're unalerted. They have exceptional hearing and basically one shot you. And. Of course, they're only aggressive towards sticks. Alright. I'm just gonna trot down the other way, because there's a door there that I want to see if is openable. Maybe also just put that out. Okay, we got a hammer bro, and not much else, but there's a token. Token should come a little bit more fast and loose here. Make sure there's no knight behind the door, because that's dirty. So there's a patrolling knight, two workers at the furnace, one over here, another patrolling knight. Nothing janky over here. And once again, they can see me up here quite easily. Ooh, there's some more sand. That's some good stuff. So I think... He also has amber on his belt, so I want to steal that. I think the way I handle this room is I kill this guy. Then kill this guy. Then kill that guy. And then go down to the next layer. Also restock my sand. Is this guy patrol? Because what I want to do is hide in the closet probably until he goes by. So he doesn't hear me drop down. I do want the pickpocket off of him. So I can't just knife him. doesn't even come around these bricks. And those guys don't turn around unless they're alerted. Oh, that guy's acid on his belt. Wait till the next cycle to actually kill him just in case there's a guy in the middle that would see me if I killed him now. We're at two ambers, so I might as well partake of one. Snag him just like that. 
Hammering those bricks must have tired. Gotta be careful here because the guard below can actually see this kill if I'm not careful. So I got a little bit of acid too. You can see there's some parkour edges down there as well. And uh, some bugs. So the bugs are the things you don't that don't like you. They're real nasty. So what do they do? As I said, they're blind, but have exceptional hearing and can only be loud killed and you can only do it when they're not alerted to you anyway they yeah. don't interact with NPCs and finally so you can't kill them they, any other way well you can throw a knife at them they also basically one shot you really that's pretty fucked. Really strong. Okay, we got Patrolling Knight, who drinks water, guy hammering the wall, and some Why hardcore stuff. The, the guys like hammering walls, okay? Don't ask me why, I just know they do. Go hammer a woman instead of a wall, you'll feel better. We're gonna execute when this guy. start with W, you might just be a little confused. I'm gonna poison the water and then handle the other guy. And then we're gonna explore some of those parkour ledges. It poisons the water with the vomit? Yep. Or else it gets the... Uh... I don't know. Well, it's a I'm gonna say buggy yeah. something, but... Silphy bonnet. The silphy bonnet. This one doesn't use protection. Alright. I like how that guy's already throwing up, so no one will notice when he heals over dead from drinking water. Oh, he's one of those Chuck Norris models, too. Chuck Norris. Careful, no roundhouse can be. So this guy will probably die around the time where he normally throws up. Exactly where the normal goes up. Oh no, someone shit in the water and they drank it. I guess he should know such shit log floating in there. I think he'd be able to taste it. Once you taste it, it's too late. I don't even want to think about what they're burning here. Trash, threatening letters, assassination orders. Disappointing wives? Disappointing wives. Letters covered in finger marks that idiots think they're sending to their families. The unofficial history of Akanash. Bad conscience makes for damn good fuel. Damn. 
Dix has no chill. Take that. Take that. I'll take this away by two. Uh oh, your life? I'm not apologizing. You are not apologizing. So we, I'm gonna make a save. Because if we fall, we'll die. Just some hardcore. Some hardcore parkour? Yeah. So, theoretically, I should be able to grab this ledge, but somehow I bash my head off it instead. Buggy too bad. Yeah, on this? No. Not from this side anyway. Can I get up here? Not that way at least. Eleven fifty three. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the level. Okay. You just want to keep you up to date, so that's yeah. what I was doing. Alright, looks like we can't make use of those platforms yet. Make use of all the platforms? Watching for roof crevasses here. They're coming out of the roof, sphincters! Alright, we have a crossbowman. Nobody else. I guess we'll just take this neck and make it snappy. What a twist. Oh look, this incredibly convenient knife and token right there. Surely isn't trap. Shamalama twist twist. <laughs> it's like titty titty bang bang. <laughs> okay, well we have to go down there. And it depends we... on how big the tips are. We have like free knife, so let's do it like that. Somewhere. Don't want to use two knives if I can help it. Hammer. Just gonna shot me up with your hammer. He might. Maybe you wear a wool cap while you're doing it. You're pretty entertaining. He is alert though. A little careful in the approach. We caught him looking in the exact right direction for our purposes. So 
three more tokens to go. Look at this token. Poisonous water for good measure. Bad eyes. Fucking keen hearing. These critters are Those night fucking there. creepy. That giant cockroach is mutated by Amber. Robies? Yep. Those things are scary. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a hard save here. Drop all the hard saves. Like, crush them with hard saves. Like, save so hard it literally removes the light from their eyes. As I said, they're killable, and this one's by itself, but usually they spawn in groups. I'll be right back. Some of them even have ranged attacks, if I remember correctly. Even sneak walk. Just too loud. It says muffled kill, but they scream when they die. And they're filled with acid, so their body dissolves. Okay, now if we do some spooky jumping. Actually, we don't need to do spooky jumping. Just go the normal way. I might prefer going the normal way. For this particular juncture. Yeah, because if I jump, it's going to alert that one. so fast compared to you when you're sneaking. That usually changes to a regular kill. Just walking very slowly in case there's one hiding down here. So I think we're good. Now, is there anywhere else to jump? Okay, so, here's the bridge, and over there is the relic. So we actually have to walk past the hideout to get to the relic. Now, this armored roby... Armored? Is gonna be a dick in my side. Armor? You're fucking kidding me, right? I think it also has no. a ranged attack. Like, I think it shoots acid, too. What the fuck? It's like, hey, Sticks, Mr. Satan would like to request your presence in hell. Yeah, look, even a muffled kill pissed this guy off.
Hey, I actually used your knife. Oh, he's not happy with you. The, the armored ones. Um, they shoot a The armored ones, uh, you can't kill them with knives. Is the thing. Can you kill them at all? Yeah, just not by throwing knives. Like, you might be able to knife them in the direct back. But Sticks has had pretty bad aim lately. Wouldn't you in the wouldn't you at the greatest technicality here be directly knifing in the in the sack too? Yeah. Yeah, see, even in, even in the rear, you can't knife them when the shell is open. They look like your worst nightmare, basically. Yeah, they suck. To get close enough to get a kill, or a muffled kill, you're basically touching them, and if you do touch them, you get alerted. Finally, dude. Okay, so now I can actually run around. I think there's a token around here somewhere. I'm just having a look for it. Be a little more talkative too, because basically the danger is past. There we go. Okay, that's just a drop, and there's no way up. So that probably just leads to the hideout. Nothing to grab up there. Hide. Out. Tokens along the way. So we still need two more. Okay, so theoretically, the relic is in this area. token. I've been playing Deus Ex on my laptop to practice. It's crashed. Because it's obvious to me from the previous stream that I'm in sword need to practice. Indeed. Oh, that stinks! One other question, by the way, brother. The hideout. Yeah. Once we get everything settled and you get your new computer, um, so that's, that's something you're planning on doing. Um, are we going to be doing games like Factorio, you think? Uh, quite, well, we'll definitely be doing more co-op PC games. So this is a shortcut from the Relic to the exit. So that's handy. I'm partially saying that on stream, by the way, to float the idea. Um, if you want to see games like that, please feel free, if you're watching this on YouTube, to put it in the comments, or right now, to put it in the chat. Because quite honestly, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a huge lover of Factorio. I find the automation appealing. It's fun. But, um, you know, this isn't really... This isn't the channel that's had a lot of that. So, you know. Yeah, so... 
for me. Look, there's like 500 rubies here too. It, like, I only got to play the demo, so I don't really have the greatest appreciation for the game, because you barely get to do anything in the demo. Um, I could maybe float you my copy for a little bit to try it. Because I know your laptop could run it, at least. Maybe not stream it, but run it. So that way you can get a, a grasp of whether it'd be something you'd be interested in doing. So there's actually a really cheeky kill we can do here. Is it extra cheeky? Yeah, I'm just going to go in here and see if there's a token, but, um... I could send... Imagine. Rakash. Like, it looks like there's something I can do here, but it's just an illusion. I could send Rakash in here, lure all the Robies into this incinerator. And kill them all? And turn it on. Magic mirror on the wall, is that the most cheeky thing to do of them all? You should do it. I'm gonna you try to see it. This. I, I wish to experience this, this amount of glory. But even in sneak mode, you have to walk real slow to avoid detection. I also like, who's there? Stop! You've you broken the law! Okay. It's a fucking oblivion game. Or no, it's stop you have violated the law. That's the word. Oblivion's pretty fun. I it. That's fucking awesome. Turn them to naught with ash. Ashhole. <laughs> Ashhole. What happened to that poor bastard? Uh, these are like the only non stixes that Roby's kill. Oh. Oh, oh, it's pretty gruesome. What'd they do to him? Ate them, live. Ugh. Ugh. That's nasty. One hell of a fucking cockroach to find in the middle of the night. I don't think that broom's gonna help you much. Alright. I think hey, this will push... I was about to say, we should like push the basket over for no reason. Well, I'm trotting around now, because we're at, uh, Nine out of ten tokens for this level. Maybe one of the roaches that ate it and like had it all in the rest of it and dropped it. Yeah, that would be cool, but that's not the case. So I'm gonna have to trot back a little bit, but basically, um, we're at the that's end of the level. stream. We've done all the objectives, we just need to find the coin. And. Mr. Coin? Mr. Coin was his father. <laughs> Mr. Coin was his father. <laughs> what, what, if, what if this coin we're looking for is a girl? That's Did her you father. Did the coin's gender? It's, it's fine. <laughs> I engendered the coins. You engendered the coins. Your coins don't even have people on them. They're just like buildings or something, don't they? Or like maple leaves. Um, pretty much every coin has a head, then the tail is some, either a building or a national symbol. That's kind of the same for ours, then. I had one coin from Canada for a while that was both silver and gold, I think it was like a $2 or $5 piece. Yeah, the pretty tuna. Sweet. I was up there for a little bit when I was younger, and I got it out of the vending machine. Back in my day. I remember when they invented the tuning. Pretty sweet looking coin, I mean, honestly. Yeah, it's... a little two-tone going on. Like, you're probably not supposed to get up this way, but I'm gonna give it a try. Didn't work. 
Looks like there's a crawl space. It did not work. It did not work. Yeah, there's a whole network of crawl spaces. I accidentally walked off the edge because I was looking up. <laughs> Hopefully it picked us up from the relic. Really? Is your brain okay? Well, I was trying to follow this passage to get the last piece. Okay, so just put us back here. I don't think your brain's okay. This isn't so bad. Take a shortcut this time. Like this coin. It's been the death of me. This coin is the name of you. Oh, it's wearing a mask and everything. This sticks that man. Okay, so we need to be on that man. level. Haven't you killed basically anything and everything in this level? Yeah, that's why I'm trotting. Trotting? You have to have coconuts to do that. Or coconut shell, pardon me. So we go up one more. Like fucking lots of python in here. And believe you me, I'd love to just walk out level with that would defeat the purpose of this entire run, which is to get all the tokens. Look at this token token token. So I need to drop down from the other side. A yeah, relatively short level. Just been poor at it. Wait, you know, it's the end of the day, we're all tired, it happens. There's a crawl space here which just leads to the token I already got. They can't expect to leave faith, sure or not. They might. Let's put a save here. This will most likely end in sadness. You can just make it catch a group of fingertips. It's a hell of a jump, yeah, and it like... skips half the level. He has like the strongest fingertips of men known to mankind. But there's a great here. Oh my fucking god. Hey Broly, how do your balls feel? There might be another parkour surface perhaps. Like I I, I feel as though I can hear those balls cracking all the way here in the stage. The jumps are too perfect. It has to be intentional that you, that you go that way. But what I want to do is... Like, they made a hole there. So surely there's a way to get there. But you can't climb that. That lights you on fire. So thank God for that. Okay. Oh, this book's right here. If 
fucking token was in there the whole time. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Well, the token's not up here, despite all the trouble we went through to get here. There's no way to get higher. You won't even grab that pipe. Now, there wouldn't be a token in that, because there's a token right in these bricks. But I wouldn't have been surprised if there was one like on that scaff thing. Probably. Maybe there's another secret. At this point I'm just gonna basically keep amber vision up and see if there's any of Ozcan's marks that I missed. Ozcan does occasionally have tokens squirreled away. Another reason why I kill literally everybody in the level for the purpose of token hunting. Guess I'll take that health potion now. Like, we have the Amber Vision perk that highlights items, so if the token is in line of sight, it's gonna glow like a Christmas tree bulb. Some Christmas tree bulbs really suck, though. Yeah, Stitch has good lights, though. We got them from Christmas store. A Christmas store? I don't have any stores that just sell dedicated Christmas goods. Well, I know I know there's stores that sell dedicated Halloween goods. So. Well, yeah, but they're only open for so long. Like, they're only open for like a month out of the year. Not this one. This one's open for a while. I know here in the city I live in, in the U.S., we have a, a, a store that's open 24-7 that sells fireworks. I'm becoming perplexed at this point. Perplexed? This one. Is perplexed the Sesame Street word of the day? Maybe. Kind of this fungus glows with amber vision. It's way back to the level. We just ran the whole level there. This is a secret passage here. I could look it up for you if you want. Oh, 
I'll have a quick look. Because the stream could have been over ten minutes ago with a happy ending. I've got to the point where I need to start kicking shit over. Alright, well just give me a moment. There. I'm gonna find it just when you get information on it. Maybe you can shimmy there? Well, the issue with looking up, though, is going to give me a list. Yeah. So, that's definitely not a place where we can walk, so there's no hidden path around that way. What's the place you're in called? The Incinerator. The Incinerator. Dun 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 Aganash's atrium. Okay, it gave me a map. Can you look at a map? Probably. Pull up the map. I'm waiting for the stream delay to catch up. There we go. Okay. Okay, you see the top right there, like a little bit to the right, where it has that dotted path in that room? Yeah. There's one right in that dotted path. Do you have that one? I don't know. There's the first one for you to check. That dotted path might be... The one from Spawn. Where, where on the map is the Spawn point? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Okay. Well, that actually looks like... Because at the top, it has that bridge. So I think that might actually be the secret room. Which I did get token from. I think we spawn at the bottom of the map when using that view. Because all the stairs are at the bottom of the map. And that's where we start. I have to go and get cell potion again. Okay, so there's the cart. Present that table over there. And there's like no crates on the stage. I could have it. As much as that looks like a hidden door, it's not. Here, I just sent you a link on your laptop at the proper time for all the token locations. Alright. 
right, so... Grabs this one first. Goes for this one. Grabs this one. He grabs that one. He grabs this one. down here, grabs this one, oh that's cheeky, the token's up here, I think I actually saw it on the way down, but thought it was just an amber root. That was a cheeky token. Alright, now we can leave, and I will spend our upgrade points before I end the stream. Wow. What a cheek. Unfortunately, we triggered alerts. We killed 142 enemies, but only left 20 alive. Got a lot of upgrade points, though. Might have a little cutscene with Ozcan. Hey, you asleep? You better not die before I've been able to take care of you. Answer the governor. Who told you of the existence of these plans? Who told you where they were? Speak! Who? Everyone. And no one. Sometimes you just have to listen to people thinking. And you, you think so hard, you humans. You prattle on all day long inside your little skulls. What are you going on about? Listen to people thinking. You still hadn't understood? All those desperates who had the bad idea to taste amber. I hear their thoughts. I hear everything they think. And the elves, they're like me. They hear your guards thinking that they'd hope for a bit less boredom thanks to a small dose of this golden poison. It appears that smuggling is doing well. The elves have had your tower under surveillance since the beginning, Barrowman. Lies! You're making it up. Oh, really? Yet I can clearly hear your torturer thinking that this morning he sold the pipe of a prisoner to be able to pay for a little smuggled amber. And also, that his balls are itching. There is no contraband in Akinash. Consummation of amber is prohibited. You're talking nonsense. Aaron, you will gather your men and inspect the bowels of the tower. I want to know the truth. But father, if the elves are spying on us, wouldn't it be better to focus on... Don't meddle in diplomacy. I'll make sure to summon the Elf Ambassador, and if they are watching us, he will answer for this betrayal. If you say so, Father. And so you managed to get hold of the plans of Arkanash. Have you given them to the Elves? Well, anyway, Querberus was the only one able to decipher them. No. I still had stuff to do inside your walls before returning to the World Tree. I heard that access to the heart of the tree, the bridge, was protected by a tamper-proof lock. 
and that you keep the only key in your apartments. So I said to myself, Hey Rakash, if you hope to reach the heart of the world tree, you'll need this key. Go visit this governor. And try not to dirty the carpets too much. Well, while I stuck up on throwing knives, I'll ask Ozcan how to enter the freaking fortress that is Governor Barrowman's apartment. Alright, so... Um, Ozcan's over there, but I want to restock and buy perks. Because I think the next mission starts basically when I talk to him. Okay, got lots of points to spend. Okay, let's buy... Extra throwing knife. Let's get um, counts. I guess I need to get bind first. Um, I'd love Elite Thrower, but there's no way we'll have enough points. Let's let's get some from the Stealth Tree, too. Well, I mean, considering the fact it's mostly a Stealth one, is what you need. Well, you gotta do a little bit of everything. But I got Pounce, well, yeah. now we can watch Funny Kills. Alright, no predator skills available yet. Let's drop a save. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, consider following me. If you're not doing so already, and if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button, helps a lot, and subscribe if you want to see more. And we will catch you next time. Bye now. Good night, everybody.